Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is my video uh, regarding fake true religion jeans. This pair is not fake, alright? <laughs> this is not a fake pair. If this was a fake, this would be a really good fake. Um, but this is my video. I'll, I'll show you guys the tag in a second. Um, but yeah, this is my video on regarding fake true religion jeans. Uh, my experience and after seeing a ton of fakes, um, is it worth buying or is it not worth buying? First off, fakes go anywhere between $20 to $100, I believe. If you pay more than $100 for a pair of fake True Religion jeans, um, you could get an authentic one for $150, okay? We're close to that range. So, uh, you will be vastly overpaying if you pay anything more than $100. Um, they usually go for $20 to $50, $20 to $100. You could get one for like $50, $60. Bucks. But um, this is an authentic pair. I mean, the stitch. Look, look. Just look at the stitching. You will not find this kind of stitching on a fake anywhere. Okay, there has. I haven't seen a fake with this kind of stitching. This is an authentic pair. Um, I mean, look at the detail in the stitching. Um, look at how great the stitching is. The quality of it. I mean, I've had this jean for at least two years now. Uh, I mean, look at the fades. Um, it, it, fakes, you can't find fakes that are this good. Um, you just can't. Um, another thing about the fakes, when you pull out the pockets, um, you could you could see it right here. Um, the the fat guy that is playing the guitar, okay, on the fakes. Um, it either doesn't have the fat guy playing the guitar, or if it does, it's in crappy quality. Okay, it, it, I mean the guy, the guy looks like he's put on six hundred more pounds than he uh, actually would have. I mean, um, the fat guy is huge, way bigger than the normal picture. Uh, the picture looks crappy. It looks, it looks cheesy. I mean, it doesn't look great. Um, on the on the authentic pair, the fat guy playing the guitar, it should be a clear image nice good quality uh, if it, there shouldn't be too much red dye or it shouldn't be too um, um, what you, it shouldn't be like the red dye shouldn't be smeared at all it should be in good good detail all right uh, another thing you would want to look for is the stitching um, the fakes have crappy crappy stitching the, st the stitching looks crappy I mean the fakes are a normal pair of jeans they did some crappy stitching on there and they put on a crappy fade um, either on the knees or on the back all right there is no stitch almost you wouldn't find detailed stitchings on the fake on the inside you wouldn't find detailed stitchings on the, on on um, the pockets I've seen people wear fakes I've seen a ton of fakes I could easily tell that the jean is fake and a lot of people could tell as well. Um, I mean, tell me where you can you find a fake like this? <laughs> All right, you can't find it anywhere. This kind of quality, hundred percent cotton. Um, this kind of fading, um, this kind of stitching, you can't find a fake anywhere with this kind of quality. Um, the fakes also, uh, the backside, uh, where the actual fat guy is Buddha whatever his name is um, where, where the tag is stitched uh, the, the tag is not um, cotton the tag is plastic or another quality um, like if when you feel the tag it should feel like cotton it should kind of feel like the, the, the gene itself all right uh, the fakes do not have it uh, they feel like plastic they feel crappy um, what else? What else? What else? Um, you could also look at the tags, see what it says. True religion jeans are made in made in USA. Um, they also have a serial code on the tag. Um, if you would, if you would, uh, one second, look. So on the tag it says C A number and it has a serial code. Um, and then it says RN number serial code. The fakes do not risk putting that on there because it's the the crime. I mean, it's um, 
the penalties are higher if you fake the tag than if you don't. Um, some fakes have the balls to do so. The majority of them don't. Uh, you should also find the horseshoe. Um, so first is the tag, then it's the horseshoe. And lastly, there's another that talks about the style and the cut and whatnot. Um, I don't think they all have this, but uh, look for that as well. In the back, it says 100% cotton. Um, and also look for the symbols in the bottom. Hold on, let me zoom in so you can see. So you see all the way in the bottom, there are symbols, the red symbols right there. Also look for those as well. Um, but yeah, the inside is the best place to tell if it's fake or not. Uh, look for the prints. Uh, look for the stitching. Um, also look for a final cut on the stitching on the top right there. Those are on. Those, you'll see these on the higher quality ones. Um, but okay, so if you want a pair of True Religion jeans, um, and you think they're too expensive, you could go to the outlets get two for a hundred and eighty. Okay come out to be a 90 bucks each you could find good prices in the outlets in the true religion outlets you could find great great prices okay um, and you're buying authentic pair of jeans they last you a while uh, they're great and you don't risk buying a fake um, I'm skeptical skeptical about buying clothing online only thing I might buy online is maybe belts with the receipt um, maybe shirts um, sweaters, I don't buy jeans online, okay, it's just nasty, okay, someone's put their freaking booty in the jeans, um, and sat in them, and sweated in them, <coughs> sorry, um, and it's just nasty, I don't, I don't want to buy used jeans online, um, especially for the price they're going for, so, if you could, oh, if you could find them in the thrift store, or you could find them in a garage store for really cheap, it's worth buying them and having them detailed. Otherwise, stay away from used ones. Best option for people who want to buy True Religion and they want to get a good price is the outlets. All right. Um, I didn't buy mine from the outlets. I bought it from a retailer. Um, but if you want to get it, that's the place to get it. Oh, I promise to show you guys the tag. I will do so in a second. Do I have it here? Nope. Um. Okay. Yep. There it is. There's a tag. There it is. Three nineteen. Tag in the front. I paid two eighty for it. For one pair. Those. That was the highest quality you could have gotten at the time. Uh, when I bought that particular pair, that was the highest quality, I mean the most expensive pair you could get at the time. And I paid 280 for it. Alright, um, my video, uh, my review on the jeans, and I hope you guys have a great time. Bye-bye.